What if all super volcanoes blew up tomorrow? Volcanoes are one of the deadliest and most dangerous things we have on our planet. Luckily most of them are dormant and not able to harm us until now. We're going to look at what would happen if these super volcanoes suddenly erupted. But that's not all. We're also going to check out what would happen if one of the biggest volcanoes on Earth decided to explode and then we'll explore what happens after the volcanoes erupt. We'll show you what happens during a volcanic apocalypse. This is one of the largest super volcanoes in the world and now it's beginning a massive eruption. But that's not all at this moment. Every single super volcano is exploding all around the world. How many super volcanoes would be erupting? What would it be like to witness so many eruptions? And would this be the end of life? As we know it, here's what would happen. If all super volcanoes blew up tomorrow before we get ready to rumble. Let's just get down to what's so super about a super volcano. These things aren't just big buckets of lava and ash. They're defined by their colossal huge calderas. These massive cauldron-like depressions can span distances as large as cities like Los Angeles, New Delhi, and Singapore. And when some of these super volcanoes erupt, they'll spew enough rock and ash to cover entire countries in debris. So if they all went off at the same time, would you have anywhere safe to go? Our super volcano chain reaction begins in one of California's most beloved national parks, Yellowstone. Known for its breathtaking geysers, this whole place sits on top of a massive super volcano that could blow at any moment. This super volcano would explode with a force about 2,500 times more powerful than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. The sheer explosive power of this would be equivalent to nearly one four of a million megatons of TNT. And plug your ears. Because this eruption would be loud enough to be heard across several states ash would blanket the horizon and sadly most of the national park's wildlife will die in the fiery eruption. Or its aftermath. Now before the dust begins to settle on Yellowstone another eruption will rock the west coast of the United States this time the Long Valley would wake up from its 760,000 years slumber. That ancient eruption was so powerful that it created the caldera that still exists today that is to say. It created the one that existed up until a few minutes ago over 1,000 cubic kilometers of debris would burst out of the volcano, sending an unfathomable amount of ash and lava into the air next far across the Pacific Mount Toba in Indonesia, would detonate with a deafening roar tropical paradise would turn into pandemonium and millions of people live close to this volcano. So the death toll from the eruption would be devastating people all around the world would be breathing in thick hot volcanic ash, without a heavy protective mask. This stuff would cause you to choke and you'd be unable to breathe but this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. The last time Toba erupted 74,000 years ago. It was one of the most powerful blasts in Earth's history. The vast amounts of material it ejected into. The atmosphere caused a so-called volcanic winter blocking out the sun and leading to a significant drop in global temperatures for the next several years to round out our Look at the chain reaction of super volcanic eruptions. Let's return close to the scene of one of history's most infamous eruptions Mount Vesuvius. Its super volcanic neighbor would erupt and plunge the Bay of Naples into even more chaos 2000 years ago wiped the city of Pompeii off the map. Today this super volcano would threaten the lives of more than 2 million people living in the metropolitan area of Naples and if the epicenter of this this eruption was underwater. Well your Italian beach vacation would be ruined by tsunamis as tall as 30m heading right toward you. Now these wouldn't be the only eruptions happening around the world but already. The consequences would be disastrous cities would be plunged into darkness airports would ground flights all over the world even just finding breathable air would be a challenge. The chaos and destruction brought on by all these eruptions would make millions of people homeless. And the numbers would continue to grow as the effects of a volcanic winter settle in with all the volcanic material in the air our atmosphere would be filled with sulfuric acid blocking out the sun. Crops would die decimating food supplies and leading to mass extinctions of animal species and just like in the aftermath of Mount Toba's ancient eruption global temperatures would drop for several years the one bright spot in this literally dark situation would be that. This would significantly reverse the effects of human impacted global warming for a while. And there would be hope that in the aftermath civilization might join together to figure out ways to keep life. What if Krakatoa volcano erupted today? Going now let's take a deeper look and see what would happen if the Katia volcano erupted on the islands of Indonesia a geological beast. Even though this volcanic island was uninhabited at the time the devastating aftermath of the eruption led to a death toll as high as 36,000 people. And that's not all. It also caused a little climate change so if Krakatoa were to erupt today. Would it be game over for humanity before jumping right into the heart of this volcanic disaster scenario? 
There's one important detail you need to know following its eruption in 1883 a large part of the Krakatoa volcano collapsed into the sea it kept erupting underwater. And that allowed the volcano to climb back out of the ocean but when Krakatoa erupted back then it was twice as tall as it is today for today's Krakatoa. To be extremely dangerous it would have to return to its original size. So let's imagine a scenario where the 1883 eruption never happened and this volcano would be a ticking time bomb ready to blow. If you lived in Indonesia's capital Jakarta you'd be among the first to notice that something was wrong for months you'd be hearing strange dull booming noises. Followed by your doors and windows violently rattling these booms would be the result of eruptions below the surface of the Indian Ocean. In the days after these booms Krakatoa would start to blow up small amounts of ash would rain down as far away as southern India or Thailand. Closer to Rakata Island where you could see Krakatoa large vault volumes of steam and smoke would be rising from. Its peak into the atmosphere over the next few weeks massive amounts of volcanic glass and molten rock would be ejected this rock material would blanket parts of the ocean surface around the island and that would just be the beginning of the disruption to the fishing industry shipping lanes and to all life forms in the coastal ecosystem. Tomorrow the next day this beast would explode with so much energy that its sound waves would circle the globe four times and while not everyone on earth would hear the noise. You could catch it in Australia. Yeah even 160 kilometers away the explosion would sound louder than a jet engine hopefully you won't be any closer than that. Because if you were too close. The bang would instantly rupture your eardrums following the explosion the surrounding regions would be plunged into darkness. That's because all the volcanic ash that Krakatoa spit out into the sky would be blocking the sunlight for the next three days. But the worst would be yet to come. This massive explosion would cause the volcano to collapse large parts of Krakatoa would fall into the sea triggering a series of devastating tsunamis millions of people in the surrounding area of Indonesia. Would be at risk of death death if you lived in Jakarta you'd want to find some very high ground because a wave of over 37 m tall would drench the capital. And people in coastal areas as far away as Hawaii and South America would be on tsunami. Earth active or dormant on land or under the sea is ready to blow the lid off this place you can expect to see plumes of ash lava bombs and jet spurts on every single continent. And in every single ocean but I know what you're thinking you can take the heat right well take a seat there sparky it's going. To get a whole lot worse. If every volcano on earth erupted at once it would set off some high magnitude earthquakes. If flights weren't already cancelled planes would start falling out of the sky visibility would be reduced to a minimum but the big threat would come from the volcanic ash clouds. They can damage flight controls and cause engines to fail the eruption. Many crops and livestock would struggle to survive in this ash contaminated environment. Now believe it or not something positive might come from all this destruction it could be a cure for climate change well at least for a little. Highly unlikely but it does make us think about how quickly things can go south what if we could prepare for something like this what if we built the world's deepest bunker well that's a story for another video, till then take care. Stay safe.